For more videos visit forthesakeofeducation.com Alright guys, let's do this uh, two problems. The first problem, uh, they basically give you the weight of a load, the weight of this weight right here at G1, a weight here at G2, and a weight, a balancing weight here at G3, and they want you to calculate all the moments that are created by this assembly. So basically, they want you to calculate the moments both at A and B. So basically you got this lever arm, you got a force right here, right at G2, I mean sorry, G1, this is for the load, right at the, right at 12.5 meters away from B. You got the weight of the assembly BD right at G1. You got a weight right at G2 and you got this balancing weight. So let's calculate each one. First we got the two megagram load. Two megagrams is basically 2000 kilograms. So the weight of the load is equal to 2000 kilograms times 9.81 which is the acceleration of gravity which comes out to be 19.6 kilonewtons the weight of G1 let me write it here weight of G1 is equal to 1.5 megagrams which is 1500 kilograms times 9.81 the acceleration of gravity and it comes out to be 14.7 kilonewtons the weight of g2 let me write it here weight of g2 is equal to 0 0.5 0 0.5 megagrams which is 500 kilograms that's 500 and you multiply by 9.81 the acceleration of gravity to calculate the force which comes out to be 4.9 kilonewtons and the balancing weight G3 W of G3 is equal to 6 megagrams which is 6,000 kilograms times 9.81 the acceleration of gravity and it comes out to be 58.9 kilonewtons now that you got all four forces you can calculate the torque by multiplying by each of the lever arms so the moment at B is going to be the same as the moment at A why because A and B are perpendicular from each other and they're all aiming straight down so this will be the lever arms for A and all the forces create a moment that is exactly the same so both moments are the same so the first I'm gonna go from left to right so WG3 first and WG2 WG1 and then the load so let me write them down, WG3 times the lever arm of WG3, which is 7.5. And we're going to assume that counterclockwise is positive. That seems to be the convention. This one turns counterclockwise, so it's positive, plus WG2, which also turns it counterclockwise. WG2 times the length of the lever arm, which is four meters given right here now WG1 turns it clockwise so it's minus WG1 times the 9.5 meter lever arm minus the load which also tries to turn it clockwise times 12.5 given right here so basically you're gonna plug in each of the values 
each of these four values into this four into the respective one you can mix them up and you're gonna get that the moment created is 76.7 kilonewton meters positive which means counterclockwise so that's the moment that is created in the first problem by all those loads on the second problem they tell you that let me use my eraser that we don't know WG3 and they're telling you if you wanted to balance this whole assembly how much mass would WG3 uh, would G3 this cube right here and G3 this balancing weight have so basically what they're telling you is that we don't know WG3 and to balance the whole thing we do know that the moments at A or B have to be zero so we plug in those values into the formula zero is equal to wg3 which we don't know times 7.5 plus wg2 which we do know times 4 minus wg1 times 9.5 minus wl which is the weight of the load times 12.5 all the weights remain everything is, remains the same except wg3 you don't know the mass and you want the system to be balanced this system over here is not balanced it would it would create a torque that will move so basically in this formula you solve for wg3 you plug in wg2 wg1 wl and you solve for wg3 and you get that wg3 is equal to 48.67 kilonewtons you know that WG3 is equal to the mass of G3 times the acceleration of gravity, which is 9.81 meters per second square. It's equal to 48.67. So when you solve for M, which is the mass, you get that the mass is equal to 4.96 megagrams. So final answer for the second part. And this is the final answer for the first part. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.